Hi, this is Gwen Foster. I want to talk about what natural health is. And some people really don't know. And, and it is kind of a broad subject because natural health can just be eating better. It can be eating organic. It can be not eating processed foods. But my definition of natural health is really any natural remedy that's made from the earth that's not synthetic, it's not processed, and something that will make you better. So I believe nutrition can be natural health if it's food-based supplements. Sometimes nutrition is not food-based supplements and it can be, you know, I don't wanna pick on a brand um, because I just don't wanna get in trouble, but I would say that there's some really cheap vitamins out there that are probably not great. Um, and if you look at the label, it's a bunch of synthetic words, like words you don't know what they are. They're definitely not food. I definitely believe in food-based nutrition. The second thing is homeopathy. Homeopathy is old medicine from Europe with the premise of like cures like. I can't do a whole video this time on homeopathy, but homeopathy can be magical if you have the right match, the right remedy. Sometimes there's full-time homeopaths and all they do is take your intake of symptoms, take information about your personality, and then prescribe or recommend a homeopathic remedy. And if it's the right one, it can literally undo a lot of things. It's, it's awesome. And then herbs are really one of, I love homeopathy, I love nutrition, but I really, really love herbs. Herbs are plants that have medicinal qualities. Foods can have medicinal qualities too, but herbs would be like dandelion, chickweed, uva ursi, um, milk thistle, I mean there's so many, um, ginkgo biloba, and red clover, horse chestnut, and these are all plants. Sometimes they're seeds, sometimes they're bark, sometimes they're stems, sometimes they're the fruit of the plant, sometimes they're the flower of the plant but they can have such huge benefits for certain conditions. And there's categories of herbs like nervine herbs, which are meant for calming the nervous system or helping you sleep. Like chamomile tea is an example of a nervine. Um, our sleepy time extra is chamomile with valerian, which is just stronger, but very effective. Um, herbs can also be liver herbs, kidney herbs, UTI herbs, hormone herbs. You know, there's herbs and many categories herbs for lactating moms to keep producing milk herbs for skin conditions salve uh, one of my favorite salves is called all hill salve and it's like chickweed and some other things that's meant for healing skin issues um, then there's some topical herbs that you can put as a poultice or compress you know right on the skin cbd would be considered a natural remedy which is very popular right now so cbd is is one that is good for as a, it is actually a nervine as well it's good for calming the nervous system calming um, things like epilepsy and seizure and helping people sleep so there's lots of things but also just water I mean I wouldn't say water is really just natural medicine but water can be a remedy if someone's dehydrated um, or they can't lose weight it could just be that they need water so actually water could be in that case un under natural remedies because it's coming from the earth it's coming you know from something natural most things with homeopathy even there a lot of them are based on plants like arnica or digitalis is a plant it's an it's a, a, a amazon um, plant so once you really look at plants as medicine they can be super effective for many things that ail us, you know, as remedies. Actually, a lot of medications have a basis in plants, and digitalis is a great example. Digitalis was famous in the Amazon for the benefits of digitalis before it became a medication. So, but they can't make money, they can't make a lot of money on selling a plant, so it becomes a medication and patented and, you know, all that stuff. So also essential oils. It, our natural medicine and flower essences were, which are both flower based one of them is more of a water extract um, preserved in brandy and then an essential oil is actually the oil from the plant so um, those are also super great medicines and then natural medicine to me also includes certain techniques that are non-intrusive like hypnosis um, neuro-linguistic programming, tapping, um, 
NAET, which is an allergy elimination technique. So natural medicine can also be a technique that's not intrusive to the body to help heal the body. And in other videos, I'll get into some specific topics on these categories of nutrition, herbs, homeopathy. I think natural medicine should always be considered first in acute or chronic illness. And um, in many countries, it is always used first. You know, some countries get a bad rap because they don't have our Western medical system. Well, if you look at our rating in, um, in prevention and cures, it's actually very low. It's in lower than 20% in the world of of um, health, you know, our, and we Americans consume over 50% of all the drugs sold in the world, and American pets consume 20% of all the drugs sold in the world. So that should tell you something. I think we need to get away from that and more back to plant-based medicine. And Europe and Canada are two countries that you can actually get natural remedies. Doctors are trained in both. And they will try natural solutions before putting someone on a medication or recommending a surgery. And I really think that we should also be responsible for our own health. You know, if we just run to the doctor every time something goes wrong, we don't know how to heal ourselves. We kind of lost touch with earth and plants and all the solutions that we have available to us. So I think it's super important, either through watching videos or maybe taking classes, in learning about how to heal yourself. That was, you know, the main motto of Hannah Kroger. She said, help your, I mean, she said, heal thyself and then help others, which is actually a biblical uh, quote. So it's super important to learn about yourself and then take that knowledge to help your friends, help your family, which is exactly what I've been doing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.